Hello YouTube friends and welcome again in the chip tuning world. My name is Nico and I'll be your host in this amazing topic of the day. Checksum. A checksum is a small size datum for a block of digital data for the purpose of detecting errors which may have been introduced during its transmission or storage. To be honest, for me, this explanation is also difficult. Let's make it more clear for you. Ok, every computer program have to follow exact number of symbols to can operate. If just one single cell or command is wrong, then the software will not work. The same thing is happened in the car injection computer. After chip tuning, number of symbols with data are changed and the sum of those symbols are not correct. That's why sometimes car does not start. The secret is called incorrect checksum. Luckily, many chip tuning flushers just fix the checksum during writing process. But there are some flushing tools that not support checksum correction, for example EO terminal. Other tools like Galeto and Case V2 support many checksums, but not support some old systems like Bosch EDC 15, for example. So, if you make some manipulation to the file, it is a must to fix the checksum before writing process, otherwise car will not start and in some cases will stop to communicate at all. That's why checksum is so important in the chip tuning world. If your flusher does not support checksum correction for certain model fuel systems, you can use different softwares like ECM Titanium or Winos. I will put the links in the description below. Also I want to mention the fact that checksum families are too expensive, sometimes few thousand euros for all car checksum packs. In many cases there is an abbreviation for checksum, for example CHK or CRC. First one is just short option of the word checksum or second one CRC stands for checksum recovery correction. Let me give you one example. Here we have an original file from Peugeot 607 EDC 15 fuel systems. The first file is original one. We will open it with ECM Titanium and the software will recognize it automatically. In the field we can see some helpful information like system name, in this case Bosch EDC 15C2, also EEPROM type and checksum and checksum family. To be more exact, family 5. If we accept the driver and go ahead, we can see again the family is 005. With this button we can test if the checksum is correct. To do that we have to press the button, select the family, we know it's number 5 and press compute. The result is correct checksum. But I have the same file with just two small differences for DPF removal. Only two different symbols are totally enough for the checksum to be incorrect. Let's try this. We open the modified file, select the family, number 5 and press compute. The result is incorrect checksum. Press OK, then correct the file, OK and save the corrected file. Give the file a name and you're done. If you want to test it again, we can open the same file and we'll see that this time checksum is absolutely perfect. Ok friends, I hope you like this tip of the week. Thanks a lot for your time and I'll see you in the next episode.